Soundtracks have always been a cornerstone of gaming, and it's always been a way for developers to go through and incite the emotion that they want you to feel during a specific scene or event during that game. And today, I want to talk about one particular game that everyone has been talking about the soundtrack forever. I want to explain a little bit about why they're talking about this soundtrack. As of the demo of Octopath Traveler, everyone has been non-stop talking about this soundtrack. If you went to go see in the Nintendo subreddits, or really anything Nintendo related, any sort of forums, or even Square related, you'll notice that everyone is talking about this soundtrack. So I want to explain a little bit of why the soundtrack is so popular, and how it kind of grew on everyone. So to start off, we need to explain a, bit, a little bit about where this soundtrack came from. And that means looking at the composer as well as the company that made it. Well, the company that made it was Square Enix. And Square Enix has been known for a variety of soundtracks. In fact, they have won a soundtrack award for every Final Fantasy game from Final Fantasy VII on. They've won some sort of award in terms of that. They've won awards for Kingdom Hearts soundtracks. They've won awards for... Uh, Deus Ex soundtracks and a variety of other ones and the way they do it is by working with small composers that have unique styles and they take these unique styles they give them a little bit of direction and let them go wild and we've seen them take really small composers back in early 2000s such as Jeremy Soule and take him give him just almost little guideline and he went crazy and made amazing soundtracks for him. Then Jeremy Soule grew and he did the soundtracks for Guild Wars 1 and 2, the soundtracks for Skyrim, and a variety of other memorable soundtrack based games. And we've seen these soundtracks grow so well, so who did Square pick up this time? Again, they picked up a very unknown composer, someone who's only done a few IPs, and they picked up a Japanese composer by the name of Yasunori Nishiki. And Yasunori Nishiki only really did Grand Blue Fantasy games and anime, which were had beautiful soundtracks, they really did. And they picked him up because they knew that it was something that we haven't heard a lot of. They didn't want to pick up these Hans Zimmer types that we've heard a ton of. Don't get me wrong, I love Hans Zimmer, one of my favorite composers. But they picked up these small people who, who had these unique styles. And they just gave them just a little bit of direction. And that's what we ended up with is this soundtrack for Octopath Traveler. Probably the most unique piece about Octopath Traveler's soundtrack is that each character has their own soundtrack. Not just from a theme, like you'll see with many Final Fantasy games, each character has a theme, and then you have a, a end theme for each of the things, but they also have a style, and each character has the specific style that they keep throughout their entire story. So when you're playing one character, not only is the story going to be different, the gameplay is going to be slightly different, but mostly about the same, but the this whole feeling of it is going to be different purely because the music is different, the themes are different, and it's going to compile all that together to create a story that feels unique and gives you the emotion of all of the characters that you're trying to go through. For example, one of the characters is a warrior, and his themes tend to be more triumphant. And there's another character that's a thief, and their themes tend to be a little bit more sneaky. And it's cool because even when you get to the characters that are very similar in their styles, it's the emotional differences that are between the characters. For example, there's uh, a merchant and a dancer, and both of them are in similar towns. But they're going through different things in their life and in their story that makes it really intriguing to see the difference between the two. And that's really what makes this amazing, is that you get this interesting feeling between all of the different characters, and you never feel like one character is that much the same as the other ones, despite the fact that you're at the end of the day, you're just playing an RPG that's very similar in all of the gameplay. But the emotion and the music makes it very unique for each individual character. 
Each of the songs that I've been playing over this video are the ones that are in Octopath Traveler, and I highly encourage you all to check out some of the other songs from this game, as well as if you have a Nintendo Switch, feel free to check out this game. It is an old school RPG, and a lot of people are just loving it. Thank you all, and feel free to check out anything else in the description or any of my other videos by simply subscribing.